What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay and we are back at it with another wade fishing adventure. We are here at this nice little creek or small river. I'm not exactly sure what this technically is, but it's a pretty cool spot. We have this nice kind of like shale, uh, flat waterfall kind of system here and it dumps down to some bigger pools up here and down there or down there and up here. And uh, Jay and I have never fished this particular stretch of this river. So we're excited to explore it and so we can catch some fish. We're gonna be targeting some large mouths and small mouths, spotted bass, but you know how these creeks and river systems are. You can literally catch just about anything. We're gonna be throwing some little finesse baits. Jay's got a little jerk bait tied up. Yep. And I've got this guy and I think I only have one on me right now, which kind of sucks because I think I left the pack in the car, but look at that little dangling little bait right there. That is the brand new six cents juggle minnow and i am really excited about this bait it's going to have a lot of versatile features for it um, i've got it rigged up just on a little nose hook right now and i stuck a little nico weight in the middle um, of the belly so it'll kind of have a nice little horizontal fall but i think that's going to really imitate the little bait fish out here and that's what we're trying to imitate just got that jerk bait like i said and i've got this guy so we're going to test it out hopefully i had the bag of additional plastics of these in my bag because i feel like it's going to get smoked really quick <laughs> but if not we have some more things we can try out but guys if y'all are excited to join along with us on today's fishing adventure uh oh you know what to do smash the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and jay let's go that way we hit the bigs let's do it let's go That fish? Yes, I saw oh, that thing swirl up on it. Jay's on. Woo! Don't lose him. Don't lose him. First blood belongs to Jay. I swear. I, I don't know. He's jumping. We got to see what lives in this spot. Oh, it's largies. There is some largies here. Oh, oh, don't let him smack you. All right. Well, that did not take long at all. We literally. This was, I think, maybe my second or third cast, mm -hmm. and we've already got a fish. So that's that's exciting. Yep, and it's a nice little largemouth, not a monster, but I have a feeling there's going to be some bigger ones here oh, to catch, yeah. and hopefully we'll run into some smallies or some spotted bass. Maybe we can get the uh, the the bass slam out here in this creek <laughs> today. But he smashed this little jerk, jerk bait, bait right here. Jay always does a lot of good work with that jerk bait in these small creeks, and it's just a great option to throw because, like I said, these fish are mainly feeding on little minnows and crawfish. So we usually start with a little jerk bait like that. Sweet. Let's get back in the water and let's get back after it. See ya, fishy. He got off there quick. <laughs> let's get some more. Oh, I had one. Bite it again. Oh. Oh, yes. I'm on the board. Gotcha. Oh, no, oh my gosh, look at those gar. There's so many gar out there. Wow. Is that Smalley? What is that? It's largey. There we go. Right after Jay just released hers, I've got my first one of the day. Tiny little largemouth. That was so cool. And got him on the brand new Six Sense Juggle Man. Let me look at that, guys. Look at that tail action. Like I said, I've got this rigged up just on a nose hook. And I've got a little Nico weight pushed right here in the belly. And that allows this bait just to fall nice and slow horizontal. But this bait actually swims. It like rocks side to side and that tail with that little ball right there on the end right there. It just causes it to just quiver just super seductively and fish, as you can tell, in this inaugural fishing trip, can't resist it. It's just a super natural presentation. And it's great for these shallow, um, slow or fast moving streams. Well, my time with that <laughs> that juggle middle didn't last very long. I cast it up across the bank into a bush and I, I pulled it off on the nose hook and then I couldn't find it. So I have uh, since re-rigged up, which is a little four inch wacky worm right here. We're gonna toss it around. There's something in the water right here. What is this? Anyways, I'm gonna toss this little wacky worm around. Jay's still got the jerk bait tied on. And um, I may or may not run back to the car and try to find that bag of plastics because they are not in my bag. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're hooked up. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. I wasn't recording. We got, what is that? Oh my gosh, it's a big freaking smallie. Jay, it's a big smallie. Get up here, get up here. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that smallie. Oh my gosh. Dang. Oh my gosh, guys, what a treat to catch a really quality size small bass from this creek, like just right off the bat. We haven't gone 50 yards down the bank and we have so much more water to cover and that is just a really promising sign of what may come today out here on the river. 
what a nice fish and he just absolutely clobbered that little weightless little wacky worm. I'd literally just tie that thing on and he swam to it before he even hit the water, I swear. So, so cool. Okay, let's get this guy back into the creek and let's keep on going. I'm really excited now. <laughs> All right, big guy. We'll see you. Go. <laughs> What's he doing? He's taking his time. Oh, there, oh, oh, there, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he was confused for a second. I was like, is there something wrong? Like, we got that fish on the bank so quick. There he goes. He's back in his little pool. That's awesome. awesome. Let's get some more. Okay, James. I don't know who you are, but I know where you were at. He was fishing the smallmouth hole. Maybe he caught that fish, Jay, and released it for us to catch. Or maybe he was just enjoying his time here. It's a really beautiful spot. That's some good looking ripples down there. Hey, you got something? You got something. You got something on there. I was like, I was like, something, I was like something weird's happening with Jay's bait. There we go. Third species of the day. The old trusty green sunfish. So pretty. If you can't catch one of these in a creek or river, then there's just no fish there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you should just go home. That's a nice one though. Just kind of a little average sized guy. We might catch some bigger ones than that. You never know, but definitely a welcome sight. Oh yeah, it's so more, pretty. It's more fun to catch one of those on a cast than nothing at all. Right. Bye. See ya. I saw a bigger swirl out there. I don't know if that was him. I mean, green sunfish can be Pretty dang aggressive, but I feel like there was a bigger fish hanging out there with him. Just hard to say. Oh, I got a fish. Is that another species? Looky there. Rack it up the species. There's our fourth species of the day. Another welcome sight in any creek and river that we fish, a beautiful long-eared sunfish. And he had quite the appetite because this worm is literally the same length, if not longer. Hey, he's a little bit shorter, but basically the same length as that fish. He meant business. You see that drum? Oh, big one, big one, big one, big one, big one. That's a big one, that's a big one, Jay. That's a big one, that's a big bass or something. Is that a catfish? Oh my gosh, it's a big fish. It's a massive oh bass. Is that smallie? Small oh my gosh, it's a massive smallmouth. Oh my gosh. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. That's a massive smallie. He's fighting so hard. It's a massive smallie. Oh, get up, get up. Get up. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Flip that thing. Dude, that is a monster smallie. Yeah, baby. That oh is gosh. awesome. I was just saying, I was seeing a dark blob swimming around out there and I thought it was a drum, but it might have been this guy. Look at the head on that sucker. Like that is an old yeah. river fish right there. He's he so long. Yeah, he smashed that jerk bait. Just watching him just fight in circles. Like I saw him, you were like, I got one. I saw the flash and I was like, oh my gosh, that thing is massive. He was fighting really hard too. He put up a good fight. Now this is exactly why you go out and explore new creeks and rivers because you just never know. Like I've seen this spot before on a map. That's like, it looks pretty good. <laughs> and we got here, it's kind of low, but that doesn't matter. These big guys are out here just chomping. So cool, we got largies and smallies. Is there any spotted bass out here? Ooh, I, I don't even know. know. Like, when that fish was rolling, I thought you had a catfish for a second. I was like, that's a catfish, but it was a giant smallie. I am so stoked right now. That's such a cool fish. All right, one last look at our fish before we send him back. Oh my goodness. If I don't catch another fish today, then I'm okay, because this is this was good enough for me. I have a good feeling you're gonna catch more fish today. <sighs> what a beautiful fish. All right, send him. What's he gonna do? Go that way. Go that way. He said, "I don't know. I like you. You're cute. You I can like just you. hold me all day." <laughs> he thinks you're cute, Jay. Oh. He said, "You ain't that cute." <laughs> hey, Woo! that was sick. Oh my gosh! Snake! 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 I got him. Let's go! Woohoo! This place has got snakes too. <laughs> Oh, he just jumped out of the tree. Woo, all right, check that out. We've got our first water snake of the day, and it is a gorgeous little Midland water snake. It's a little grumpy. He's got some really cool colors. A lot of the recent ones we've been catching have had more of that reddish coloration. Yeah. This guy is like purely brown, even his belly. You'll see Ooh, he's got those pretty. cool brown markings. He's a little agitated. You can tell he's got himself flattened out. You can see his head. When they flatten it out, it's kind of arrow shaped. It kind of makes them look like they're venomous, but this is a non-venomous water snake species. And I'm surprised he hasn't actually struck at me yet. He's just kind of chilling. He's interested in the camera, flickering his tongue a little bit. That is really cool. So like I said, this is the Midland water snake. This is a subspecies of the Northern water snake, which y'all might have in your region if you're a little bit north of us in Arkansas. But yeah, really cool snake. 
Definitely expected to see one of these out here today. Maybe we'll find some more, I don't know, but that's a, oh! Oh gosh, there he is. There oh, he is. No. There he is. There he is. Easy guy. I was about to say that's a really nice find, but he's a little, like I say, he's a little grumpy. We're gonna go on ahead and send this guy back and we're gonna get back to fishing. My mind is like all dialed up on some big smallies now that we've caught two good ones. <laughs> really cool snake. If we see any more, we'll definitely catch him and show y'all. Ready to go, big dog? Woo! I think he, oh, went, gosh. Oh, he went between your legs. Oh, that felt weird. There he goes. <laughs> that's where he was going, so he knew what he was doing. Awesome, we got some big smallies and we got our first blood uh, of the day. It'll be all right, we'll wash it off in the creek. Okay, so we did make another pit stop back up here at the car to grab the pack of juggle minnows that I left behind. Here's the color I was throwing, that minnow juice. And I know I've done pretty good on a little whacking worm, but I really feel like this is the bait that's gonna get the job done today. And I really just wanted to test it out for the first time and see what we can catch on them. So, she you guys how I'm rigging it, rigging it on that same little wacky hook right there. I think it's actually a Nico slash wacky hybrid style hook, but I'm just nose hooking it just like this. Okay, I might could honestly use a one size bigger hook, but that should be fine. And then what I'm doing is I'm reaching in here, grabbing myself out a little Nico weight, and I'm just shoving it right here into the middle of the belly just to give it a little bit of weight. I think it'd be fine without it, but I really want it just to sink horizontally, nice and slow, get that rocking action down in the water. But that's really simple, that's it right there. We're gonna get back down to the creek so we can catch some more smallies. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. That's a good one. Good one. Skip it underneath the tree. Is it a smallie? It is a smallie. He's a humpback looking dude. I knew that that juggle minnow would catch him. I skipped it underneath that branch and I uh, threw in there a couple times actually. I kept seeing this fish acting weird about it. And I guess it was this guy, but look at that. He's got some weird scoliosis going on with his back, but that is a fine little river specimen. Let's give him a hook. He's hooked perfectly right in the roof of the mouth. I love this little no hook system. If you can get a, if you can get away with it, and you know fishing around like you know moderate cover, and that's a great way to rig a little small fluke style bait like that. Nice fish. We'll see you. There's one. Gotcha. Is that a bass? I don't think so. He looks kind of yellow, doesn't he? I was about to say we better catch something in this little ditch. Know. Look at that. Good sized green sunfish. Got some bright orange fins. Cool fish. Fish, 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 fish. You guys got a good one, it looks like. That ain't no green sunfish. Or is you it? Sure? <laughs> it is. But it's oh, a big one. Oh my gosh. We didn't found us a green sunfish hole. <laughs> is that your second green sunfish of the day? I think so, yeah. He's bigger than your last one by like three times. That's I a good like fish. Him. I like him. I love him. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, goodness. That, that wasn't very graceful. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. You got him, JJ. Looks like a nice smallie. Oh, nope, it's a green one. It's a green one. I think he's, yeah, he's side hooked it in a little bit. He swiped at that thing. Oh, gosh. Here we go. All right, well, that is my second largemouth of the day and my first one in this new spot. Uh, he's not super big, but he's not bad. Yeah, not a bad creek fish whatsoever. And I like this spot a lot. It's a little bit deeper. It's yeah, not, deeper. there's not a whole lot of flowing water, but I think there's a riffle up ahead and we're yeah. excited to get up there and fish it. But that's a pretty guy. I'm gonna just happy a, to be catching fish. Yep, that'll be a big one one day. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh gosh. Feisty. Okay. <laughs> you kind of just drug him in. You had him hooked, you had him hooked wacky rig style. So yeah. he had a lot of energy left. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, right up next to this big dead tree. I knew there'd be a good one there. Not to fall in. That's a good large mouth right there. Stay on there. Come on up. Let's go. 
So if you take a look right behind me, we got this huge lay down tree right here covering up half of the creek. It's where Jay just caught hers on the on the jerk bait. I skipped that juggle minnow right up next to the edge of it, let it just fall real slow, and this guy gobbled it up. That's a pretty nice large minnow. We've seen some big larges in the creek today that are probably like two or three times bigger than this one. But I think that's my biggest one I've caught so far. Really cool fish, and again, a little six inch juggle minnow doing them dirty. <laughs> let him go. Woo! Fun Good times. Job. What's that? Oh, I got one. Look at that tiny, is that spot? It's a spotted bass, we did it, we did it. He may be four inches long, but we did it. Look at there. That is our fifth or sixth species of the day and that completes our bass slam. Spotted bass do live here. He's so tiny. How did he even get that thing? That's cool. That's cool, I didn't know I had him. Fish on! Is that a bass? I think so. Looks like a bass. Whoa. Looks like you wacky rigged him again. Oh, I did. Nice He's little small. small mouth. All right, there is another small mouth. Definitely my smallest of the day, but that's okay. I have hope that we're gonna catch another big one. So we're gonna send this guy back and we're gonna keep exploring the creek. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we haven't had very many graceful releases today. I'm not doing good today. <laughs> Fish on, fish on, not a bad one. Not a bad one. Swapped it up on him too. Is that a smallie? Oh, we got doubles. We got doubles. Oh, I lost my worm. I gotta get my worm back. Woohoo! What you got? Let me get my worm back. Looky there, guys. We've got our first daily double of the day. Got a decent sized smallie here. She's got a Large mouth. Tiny little large mouth. <laughs> she caught hers on the jerk bait again, and I actually swapped back to the old uh, four-inch mess worm. But I stuck that nail wet I had in the juggle minnow in there, made it an eco rig because we're fishing a little bit deeper water. Epic double release. <laughs> <laughs> nice guys, look how cool these rock formations are out here in this part of the creek. There's one last little river right there I want to check out before we start walking back. Jay's already started walking back. I'm gonna try to catch one more fish off these rocks. It just looks way too fishy to pass up. I told her I'd be extra quick. That's just the pure angler in me. I just, <laughs> I can't leave a spot that looks really good like this behind without at least making a couple of casts at it. And that's why. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. There's an even bigger one with him too. Get up here. Yes. Oh, I knew it looked good guys. That is not a bad smallmouth bass. <sighs> Ain't that little Nico rig worm? It's just really cool getting to come out here and explore this new area that we've never fished before and uh, actually catch some good fish out of it. This is not a monster, but we've caught some nice ones today and we've caught all three bass species, which I think is just really, really cool. I'll see you. All right, well, we just made the hike out of the creek. We are back in the car now, and I have to say, Jay, that was a pretty dang good time. Yeah, that was a really beautiful creek, and mm -hmm. I caught my biggest smallmouth of the year out of it. So yeah, that was I'm, cool. I loved it. Yeah, we <laughs> caught all three species of bass, and I think that I would definitely um, would like to spend some more time there, maybe after a large rain or something, just get the creek yeah. a little bit higher. I think that, you know, all those really cool geological formations we were seeing out there, it just seemed like if there was a little bit more water running in that creek and you had some more like bigger, you know, pools and some good mm -hmm. current breaks, like it could really position, uh, position the fish in the way that we could really catch a whole bunch of them. Yeah. And maybe just explore maybe further downstream or upstream, I don't know, but we didn't really even explore that far and we caught all those <laughs> fish. So definitely a spot that I think we should revisit in yes, the future. But for sure. guys, I think this is where we're going to end today's episode. We just wanna say thank you all so much for watching it. If y'all enjoyed the video, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. We're, we're Cole and Jay, Jay and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye guys.